The Sierra Air Link routers can monitor network connections and attempt to recover when a high-level communication failure is detected on a WAN or LAN connection. For example, if the Ethernet WAN link stops passing traffic, the router can switch to another available WAN link and restart its Ethernet port in order to attempt to recover connectivity. The network watchdog does this by periodically checking against its pre-configured parameters for conditions such as a minimum number of connection failures and timeouts. To configure this feature, go to Networking, Network Watchdog, and Monitoring Rules. Click Create Monitoring Rule to create a new rule or click Edit in the Rules table to update an existing rule. In the Rule window, click the Monitored Zone field to choose which zones that is system zones or your own defined zones or interfaces you want to monitor. Zones are a group of interfaces. Add as many monitored zones as you want. Select the action the router will take when the watchdog detects a failure. Options include per zone restart, which restarts all interfaces in the monitored zone when all interfaces in the monitored zone are down. Per interface restart restarts an interface in the monitored zone when that interface is down. Per zone reboot reboots the router when all interfaces in the monitored zone are not working. Select the monitoring method next. Idle traffic allows you to monitor without sending a ping. Airlink OS monitors traffic to determine whether the selected interface or interfaces are operating. This method is best for WAN links where you want to minimize monitoring-related traffic such as pings or DNS lookups used by other methods. If selecting the idle traffic method, configure the idle threshold next. This is the threshold at which traffic is considered to be idle. You can raise or lower the threshold depending on the interface being monitored. The next method option is ICMP ping. This sends ping traffic at a configured interval whether the interface is idle or carrying traffic. ICMP ping on idle traffic will send a ping when the router detects idle traffic. After selecting the ICMP ping on idle traffic method, select the idle threshold. The DNS lookup method attempts to resolve host names at a configured interval whether the interface is idle or carrying traffic. DNS lookup on idle traffic tries to resolve the host name when traffic is considered idle. Some firewalls do not allow ICMP pings through, so DNS lookup is the best option in that case. If selecting the DNS lookup on idle traffic method, select the idle threshold next. Select the interval. Depending on the monitoring method you selected, the interval determines either how often a ping is sent or how often the router checks bytes to determine if traffic is idle. Select the max failures, which is from 1 to 10. This is to set the number of successive failures before the router takes the specified action. For monitoring methods other than idle traffic, set a primary and secondary host, both of which will accept hostname or an IP4 or IPv6 address. Enable or disable WAN policy link validation. This setting is not directly related to the network watchdog, but is used in multi-WAN policy as an additional check to determine whether a WAN link slash interface can reach the DNS hosts you set and be considered a usable link by any of the multi-WAN policies. You could leave this setting disabled if the router uses only a single WAN link. Click Create or Update if editing an existing rule, then click Save at the bottom of the page. One last thing to note is if you are using your router in a non-cellular application, you will need to disable the router's cellular interface or interfaces, under Hardware Interfaces, Cellular Interfaces, and Configuration. The network watchdog is pre-configured to restart the WAN zone after an ICMP ping detects a failure. Because the default WAN zone includes the cellular interface, a device without a SIM card will restart its cellular interface continuously. Do not disable the cellular LPWA interface because this will affect the connection to AirLink Management Service and your ability to remotely configure the router. Configuring the network watchdog is now complete. We hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more videos like this.